Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about analog programming in Delta PLC EX2 series. Inbuilt analog read and write using Delta PLC. So I am I am open WPL soft and I am given the project name and I am choosing the PLC model. So I am giving the PLC model is EX2. I am giving the show command and device command list and editor monitor devices. These are the things available, but I am choosing device command list. So first, this M memory registers M1000 to M1999. These are our predefined function for using special purpose memories, but I am using data register like D0 uh, like D D1000 to T199 so totally 1000 data registers are using special purpose registers but I am using analog uh, so I am choosing T100 to T100 is analog input channel 1 for the consecutive 4 bits are uh, analog channel 0 and 1 2 3 after that uh, analog output t triple one six like uh, consecutive two bits triple uh, one six and triple one seven the sampling time like t one zero six two I am giving one uh, to the sampling time like uh, scan time and t triple one five is analog mode uh, like uh, voltage or current if I am giving zero means I am take the voltage mode and one is current mode. So first I am give the sampling time and voltage. So I am choosing to ladder diagram mode. Yes, I am coming to ladder diagram mode. And I am giving the one envo contact I am giving to M1002. So this is single positive signal. I am using move command uh, like K. K1 uh, like D1062 is sampling time. So I am giving the sampling time is 1. So initially I move the data 1. Now I am taking another one move K0. Data register is D T double one five like analog voltage or current mode. So I am choosing voltage mode. So K zero. I am giving the row command uh, given the analog read. So I am enabling to uh, show command. Uh, yeah, I am enabling show command. This is the analog read. Uh, first, I am giving sampling time and I am giving the analog mode like voltage. Okay, next, I am choosing the scale width parameters SCLP. So, pa parameter proportional calculation. So, SCLP parameters mostly using scaling the input value so maximum input and minimum input like uh, this is the help uh, like SELP is source 1 and source 2 uh, like uh, source 1 is uh, uh, input value mostly we using the input values and uh, S2 is uh, parameter like uh, ca ca 4 consecutive bits occupying like S2 uh, in case I am giving D0 means uh, next to 4 bits D0, D1, D2, D3 uh, this is the maximum source value and minimum source value and maximum destination value and minimum destination value the scaling parameters uh, okay and then I am giving the source values T triple one zero after that Okay, I am 
taking the destination value t10 I am taking M thousand. This is always on. After that, I am giving the maximum input and minimum input values and the scaling parameters. So I am giving move uh, like a this analog input is uh, twelve bit resolution. So I am taking one calculator and two to the power uh, two to the power eleven. So totally. I get the two zero four eight maximum value. And take the T zero. After that, I'm choosing next another one move command. Move K zero to T one. Minimum source value, and I am taking maximum scale value is like zero to ten volt. So I am choosing K ten. It is moving to D two, and I am taking to another one move command. Minimum scaling value like zero. So move K zero to T three. So the occupies the four consecutive bits D zero, D one, D two, and D three. Okay. So minimum and maximum values. Next thing, I am choosing one comparison. So I am taking contact type comparison, like greater than LD. So I am giving the input D10. This is the scaling value, maximum destination. And I am taking the source to value is four. In case D2 greater than K4. The time motor will be enabling Y0. Now I am code compiling. After that, so no error. After that, I am download the program PC to PLC, and I am going to online mode. After that, I am giving running command. Yes. Okay. So now get the input on the potentiometer. I am using the potentiometer zero to ten volt. So now I am just varying the voltage. Right. Uh, I am taking the maximum source value. So I am using on potentiometer. Just I am varying the voltage. I am got the output like above four volt. I am got the output. Output is enabling like above four volt. Just I am varying and show the output. This is analog read. So next, analog write mode. So I'm going to the edit monitor. So I'm added the row. So control I added the rows and I'm giving the on input LD. I'm giving the memory one zero zero two. This is enabling pulse. First positive pulse. Giving the first scan time. Give the pulses, and I'm using to move T10. Like I'm got the output D10 to analog output. 
like D triple one six is first analog channel output. So I am change the row command, row command, and giving to analog right. Okay. So next thing. I'm using the scaling parameters so I'm using SELP yes SELP okay parameter professional calculation so source one is D triple one six this is unlock output and I'm got the address is 15 so four consecutive bits occupying after that I am destination value is D20 like that same thing in analog read also same thing so I'm going to yeah I mean I forgot the M thousand so I'm giving yes correct next thing I'm using move command so I'm choosing vertical lines after that I'm using move command like output is uh, 12 not uh, output is 14 bit resolution so this is the maximum source value and minimum source value maximum destination value and minimum destination value like to 16 bit values 3 to 7, 6, 8 to minus 3 to 7, 6, 7. okay this is a uh, analog output is 14 bit resolution so first move I am giving the uh, scaling input maximum 0 to 10 volt so I am giving to maximum input 10 and minimum 0 next I am giving the move K like analog output is 14 bit resolution so I am using calculator and 2 to the power 13 yes 2 to the power 13 exactly 8192 so by 8192 is maximum scaling point and the data register is T17 and there is the vertical line yes insert the row to new rows and I am add another one move command k0 to t18 ok this is the minimum source value 0 to 10 and maximum scaling value 8192 and minimum scaling value 0 finally I got the output t20 so I am using same thing LD greater than contact type comparison D D20 data register and like I am giving the value is uh, 14 bit resolutions total value is so I am using calculator like uh, total value 8192 like 2 2 power 13 is 8912 divided by 2 so like 5 volt so I am giving uh, 4092 yes exactly I am giving 4092 but I am giving 4096 uh, okay then I am giving the output is y1 code compiling I am going to download mode and I am going to online mode I am giving the yes, online mode I am giving the run mode just I am varying the 
potential meter and develop the voltage up to 9 volt but analog rate no changes not develop the volt why in case I am doing small mistake and the analog rate what no cha change no develop the volt in case I am do I am doing small mistake just a minute and check the yes D116 is analog output channel I am leaving the correct one yeah it's m1000 this is the mistake one normally closed to counting you continue power supply so next time I'm going to download the program compiling and download and the online mode I'm going to run more now I am change the analog potentiometer so develop the voltage okay now change the voltage Okay, thank you.